and welcome. Um, this is just a short video on the Simplify 3D support structures and how they um, how they work and you know how you can modify, delete, add extra supports and that sort of thing. Um, this is just in you know if you're thinking about buying uh, Simplify 3D, you know it, it probably is the best software to have for um, 3D printing. You know, I know you have to buy it and whatever, but you know I've used Kiss Slicer, I've used Slick, you know Slicer and uh, Matter Control and um, what's the other one? Oh, Craftware. Um, but the Simplify 3D just stands out above those. Um, for my machine, I mean, it may be different on other machines, but for my machine, it, it just you know just works so good together. So anyway, let's get down to it. Um, so here we've just got a pair of handlebars um, just on a bike, you know, from a bike. And um, obviously, if you wanted to print that, there's no way could you print that, you know, as, as it is like that. So what we need to do, we need to add supports under anything what's going to overhang. So if we just go up to tools and come down to customize support structures, and in here um, we can um, add supports, we can generate automatic supports, um, we can tell it what overhang angles to have, and you know various things. So if we go with the angle, I mean. What it says here is 45 degrees. So anything over 45 degrees, it will put a structure underneath. Anything up to 45 degrees, it won't bother. So what we'll do, we'll hit the generate automatic supports, and we'll see what happens. Um, what we've got, we've got a resolution of four millimeters here. So I'll show you what that means in a sec. So we'll just hit the generate. So that's where it thinks we need supports. So if we just bring the model in a bit closer and we'll have a look at those. So like I say, anything over 45 degrees is putting a support in. So we'll just turn it around to the back. So here, so and those supports are obviously four mil in width there. So if we're not happy with some of those supports, like this one here, we probably wouldn't even need. We'll just flick to the front. So yeah, this one here, you see, we wouldn't even need that one because the machine, I know my machine can can print that um, overhang there and not have any problems. So we can delete those out. Also, if we just flick round to the back, I know also that I wouldn't need these supports here, so we can get rid of those and these ones here. So. This, we've cleaned the support structure up but then we're going to have an issue here so we can then go and add the supports in so if we just come into the middle here we can just getting your placings right is just a matter of just have, you know trial and error so we'll just click that there and we've added that support in so we'll just flick that round so that support is going to support the center so as it as it comes to building this center part you know, um, it's going to obviously use this support so it'll look good and then so if we flip back into support structures we may want to get more detailed support um, to cover more area and I'll show you what that means I mean we've, we've got four mil set here if we go down to two millimeters and then generate the support you can see that now it's supporting the back and the front of the handlebars whereas before we'll just go back it's only supporting from there you know it's not always it doesn't always place stuff exactly where you need it or where you want it so if we just drop that back to two and just watch here where we've got four mil set at the moment and now we're evenly spaced on the handlebars and obviously it's put a lot more supports in now because we've dropped down to 2 mil it can fill more area with the 2 mil supports as opposed to 4 mil so again I mean a lot of this we wouldn't need so we can then come in and just delete the ones what we don't need um, we probably wouldn't need these ones here and the ones what we had on the other side and then flick it round and again here we wouldn't need these ones here because the step off the handlebar is it's just so small by the time it prints it you know it's, it's too small to worry about so we'll get rid of those we'll just spin it around again and again you see here we wouldn't need these supports and spin it back the other way and those ones so then the model 
actually I've just seen some more here we get away with these because I know my machine will, will bridge that gap there quite easily and um, not you know it won't it won't look um, the, the filament won't drop too much you know when it's printing so that looks about it on there oh I guess down the bottom here as well I know down here we wouldn't need these ones here so then after that you see the, the models then ready to build uh, we'll just get some different views so all this all through here is going to be supported so as it does it's as it starts to build up and um, lay down the plastic it's going to obviously sit on top of these um, there's a 0.4 gap of set 0.4 of a mil gap um, of set so when we finish that, that will easily break away from the model and that won't leave you know that that'll leave a, a clean line it won't leave too much plastic behind when we break it away so that, that's about it on supports um, obviously different models have different things and you know different placements of supports where you'll need to put them and various things um, so we'll just click done on that and then we'll click prepare to print and then you can see where the print where the supports are all going to actually be so in the green here it may not be too clear on the screen but I know that that's going to print well and you can just about see the gap here where it's going to you know where, so you can break away the support really easily after it's printed um, we can probably get a better picture if I bring down the scale here and we'll have a look from the top so here you can see the support material being printed um, only really thinly and really loosely and then we'll build our way up the model so this is the main part of the forks in the middle here obviously I've got three um, loops on here or three perimeters and um, solid infill just to make it really strong that was just for the model and um, the purpose of the model and we'll come keep building up so now here we've got the two pillars and then we've got the support material being built up in the middle and we'll just go all the way through and then we start to bridge here and just about just getting a bit closer here and I'll show you a bit more detail so here we're gonna this is where the model starting to build up and it's starting to come out here and then um, the bridge in the middle and then it's going to bridge this gap here and bridge across the top of the support so there it goes there so if we didn't have that support you see this here would sag I know on the bridge capabilities of my machine how I've got it tuned in is really good but it will still sag at that particular point so and then we just keep building the model up and then it starts to build the handlebars so again here where the top of the, this is the outside perimeter of the print and then you can see here this is where the, the support material is getting generated so if we just turn around and have a look at that you may be able to see this so you can see where the gap is going to be so I know that that's you know the handlebars aren't going to stick too much to the support material they're going to be pretty easy to get off and then we'll just build away rest to the rest of the model and then it starts to just do the finish off of the handlebars and the out, outer grips and then it's all finished so and that would be the finished object not very clear on that picture this picture is a lot easier to see um, so yeah so that that's that's pretty much it on support materials um, that you know there obviously is a lot more to, than that it depends on the complexity of the model you're building but the um, that gives you an idea anyway of the of the support structures within th simplify 3d um, I may do some more videos on some of the other more complex things which simplify 3d can do um, but at the moment um, that just gives you an insight just into that side of it um, I know in the support structures you know in this software are a lot better than kiss slicer and um, slicer and matter control and the others so thank you trust you come in